Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick visual on uh, what has to be modified on the engine block itself when swapping from the LS1 style valley cover to the LS6 style uh, valley cover. Uh, so of course with the LS6 style valley cover, uh, this is the front of the block here, uh, there's a port that's up here for the um, uh, PCV system, uh, where it's LS1 style vents through the valve covers and it loops around the back, that sort of thing. Um, so with the LS6 style valley cover, there's a baffle in here uh, that interferes with this section of the block. Uh, if it's an LS6 block, you wouldn't have this uh, boss here that needs to be modified, but this is a early LS1 block. Uh, so <clears throat> you want to trim this back uh, about three quarters of an inch down and then just enough to clear it back here and on this side as well so this corner uh, will come out so when that block fits down in there uh, it doesn't hit the block um, so you should be able to do this with the Dremel uh, you may or may not need the uh, 90 degree uh, adapter to make these cuts uh, probably a little easier if you have it but if not uh, you can still do it without uh, definitely make sure you use your uh, eye protection because you don't want uh, shavings in your eye the other thing obviously so I've got the block out because I'm getting ready to uh, rebuild it and I decided I wanted to go ahead and do this before I take the block to the machine shop to have the bottom end done. Uh, of course if you were doing this with it still in the car uh, it's even more important um, to make sure any passages that go down into the into the engine and there's only a few openings in here but you want to make sure you've got things blocked off uh, so that you don't get metal shavings uh, down inside the motor. Uh, even for me even though the block's going to be cleaned uh, and hot tanked and that sort of thing um, I've got things taped off just so there aren't any metal shavings anywhere that you know dumb luck would just happen to uh, not get washed out or something like that so uh, here we go okay so I've been trimming the spot on the engine block uh, using the my Dremel uh, and all I had uh, at the time, because I'd used up uh, the fiberglass reinforced cutting wheels, I had these little abrasive uh, cutting wheels, and they work, they cut okay, but they are uh, incredibly fl flimsy. Uh, so the moment you get any pressure on them, uh, they crack in half. And after I went through uh, five or six of these things, uh, I gave up and realized that just wasn't the best solution. Uh, so I did a little research and I ran to Lowe's, um, and I got some of these cutting wheels. Uh, these are the, it's a metal cutting wheel kit, um, part number EZ68801, uh, if you're so inclined. Uh, what this kit comes with, uh, this is part of their easy quick change uh, system, uh, which was new to me. I don't know where I'd been. I was sleeping on this. Uh, but, you know, so my big complaint, uh, I don't know if I can find it now. Right, the normal uh, Dremel attachment system, you got this little tiny screw and you got to use the little tiny uh, screwdriver to loosen it up every time you want to change one of the bits. Um, and it's a major pain in the butt and it takes forever. Uh, so Dremel, uh, fortunately, was listening and has addressed that. So they have this quick change uh, component. It's spring loaded. And so the way it works, if you haven't seen it already, let's see if I can do this where you can see it. Uh, you pull back on the spring-loaded piece, this fits on, and then you rotate it 90 degrees, and then it comes up and it locks it in place. Uh, and that quickly, you can load in a new uh, cutting wheel. These are actually a little bit larger as well. Uh, these are an inch and a quarter, I think is what it said they were. Um, so a little bit larger, but uh, I anticipate these doing much better. They're a little bit thicker as well, and I think uh, should be a little bit more robust. Okay, so final review on these cutting wheels. Uh, they work excellent. Uh, much, much more durable uh, than the standard abrasive cutting wheels that snap every time there's a, a load placed on them. Uh, these really took um, some abuse and they did a very good job cutting and the extra depth uh, that these inch and a half uh, cutting wheels offer uh, was really helpful in getting this section of the block uh, cut out. So. Uh, A plus on these. I highly recommend them.
Okay, so I just wanted to show you, uh, I got the new LS6 uh, valley cover, <clears throat> and we're at the point in my build, I've got the engine block back, uh, and the short block assembled from the machine shop. So I just wanted to give you a visual um, of why we had to notch uh, that part of the, the block inside the valley cover. Uh, it actually would hit uh, that bolt there. Uh, I'll see if I can change the camera so you can have a, a sad shot here. Uh, just to give you a, a visual as to what um, exactly with this we had to clearance. Okay, I don't know how well you actually be able to see this or not. Um, but you see that bolt head there. That's what uh, would actually hit that part of the block. Uh, and that's why we had to clearance the, uh, the valley cover. Here's a look at the LS6 style uh, valley cover compared to the uh, older LS1 style uh, valley cover. You can see <clears throat> the uh, PVC system that's built into the LS6 type. Um, and of course the port here on the front uh, doesn't exist on this one.